Hi, Jojo here, Getaway Toys on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Check me out if you want to check out some art. And of course, my YouTube channel is, is Getaway Toys. Feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, send me a message, any, any of that stuff. It doesn't hurt me at all. So I do want to make a video about SJWs, the whole social justice, collectivism, feminism. It's all kind of under the same umbrella of baloney. And, uh, and art, and my experience with it. And I know this has been done to death on the internet. You can get so much information out there, so I'm not really gonna go into great detail. Uh, I am assuming you might be familiar with it. I, I call it basically these kind of crusader types uh, who really, you know, take, take this stuff a little bit too seriously as far as I'm concerned. So, so what's different about this story, I'm going to say, is that it's kind of a Gen X story, like maybe a grunge era, like a mid-90s story, is because I had painted this uh, in the 90s. And so maybe this is a little bit of a take, a different take on kind of uh, this lunacy, this liberal lunacy, as, as we see every single day, people uh, losing their shit. Uh, but it had always been there, and so this was my experience uh, back in Winnipeg, Canada, in the 90s. And so I was going out with a girl at the time, uh, let's call her Dorothy, and uh, she, uh, had, she liked this painting and she wanted to hang it in her apartment and I said, that's fine, of course. And so she had a party, her and her roommate, and I think her roommate was a musician and she was attending uh, uh, art school in, in Manitoba at the time. So, you know, like a lot of, uh, you know, the long hairs and the... Uh, Again, the musician types, guys in bands, and again, a lot of art school types. So, there. so it was a freaky deaky crowd, and it was a lot of fun. Oh man, we're getting our drink on, smoking, you know, having a good time. You know, quality, crunchy tunes. And yeah, it was, it was a terrific party. So, you know, I'm just, you know, at a party, smoking, drinking, having fun, cracking jokes, talking to people. And I can't remember, of course, what time it was, but it was probably, you know, you know, 10 or 11 or 12. I was definitely, like, buzzing at this point. And so, me and Sean are sitting uh, on, a couch, on the couch in the living room. And some guy comes in. I'm not sure if he had a little entourage or something. But uh, he, he comes in, and, uh, you know, so he's, I guess he's just arrived at the party. And, and he sees this painting. And I can tell that this guy is kind of getting, like, uh, like emotionally um, agitated by this painting. Uh, he's getting a little hysterical. Well, hysterical. He's, he's just getting upset. He's kind of pointing and he's, you know, he's, he's got the, the wild eyes. And if, I don't know if you know if, what I'm talking about, the wild eyes, but you can tell he, he's getting triggered. And this is before the term is like ubiquitous. You know, you hear it every single day. But yeah, he, he's definitely getting upset. He's emotionally involved with this painting. And he's like even cursing and uh, you know, just like, who, you know, what kind of woman-hating, misogynist, you know, dirtbag pig would ever do this? And who would hang this on their wall? And this is, this must be like evil, and this must be the source of evil in the world. And of course, I'm probably a little bit drunk, and I don't care. And I, and I don't admit it at all uh, that I had, I painted this. Uh, I'm just, I'm just kind of being floored at his reaction because I'm like, wow, I have never seen anybody get so excited about, uh, you know, anything that, well, any artwork that I had, had done. So he is getting angrier and angrier. And like I said, he might be getting vulgar at this point. I don't remember, uh, you know, if he was actually swearing or not. I don't know. But, uh, he basically gets to the point where he's like, I can't take it anymore. I can't take it. He goes up to the painting. He picks it off the wall. <laughs> he picks it off the wall and puts it on the ground. Like he turns it around. Like I, I can't look at this anymore. And so I, this is where I'm, I'm, you know, I'm thinking, okay, this is basically one of those, you know, weirdo male feminist, uh, what I would call like again the crusader types. Uh, you know, your your commie, you know, your moral authority, you know, just just bullshit artist right here. Okay. Again, so I remember just being, uh, just like going, holy smokes, this guy is a fanatic. This guy is, uh, he's, he's like, he's insane. <laughs> Who invited this guy? What the hell is he doing here? But again, I have, I am, you know, I'm cool as a cucumber. You know, I, I still haven't admitted that, that I am actually the one who had painted this. 
right? Because I'll be honest, I'm still finding this all quite amusing. I'm still like kind of kind of giggling to myself, even though I'm thinking this guy is like is uh, you know basically he's losing his shit in front of me, all because of a painting. And so I think Sean at this point uh, he he is completely pissed off. He's like, hey, hey, man, like uh, you know, you know whatever but you know he's like i'm i like actually you know what i like this painting you can have your opinion but i actually like this painting and he jumped off the couch and he grabbed the painting and he actually put it back on the wall again i just want to say this it, like was one of the most entertaining things i had ever seen i don't even think sean knew that i had painted this right but uh he was friends with dorothy and you know so you know again like who comes into someone's house and starts rearranging the furniture. So, uh, so again, uh, like complete feminist uh, loser. So, uh, so I just want to talk about that for a second. Uh, I, I put them all under the same umbrella because it really is the, I think the word is uh, a collectivist. Now this is, uh, you know, a philosophy of basically uh, just shit bags. And as far as I'm concerned, they're all garbage. Terrible, terrible people. And if you, really like look into the history behind it ooh like to be honest murderous this is what is socialism communism this is what it leads to th this kind of philosophy and so i'll be honest i actually do think these people have like black hearts and you know and have the the capability of doing evil things you know very dark souls uh they have to be, uh, you know, you have to be wary of this and, and, and avoid these people and avoid this philosophy uh, because this is tr this really is a cult. I've studied this and, uh, and of all the cults, this is the most demonic one. Uh, yeah, just stay away. To be honest, uh, there's not good that can come from this. That's all I can say. And actually, when you see today uh, what they're doing to Western civilization, oh my God. And I, I'll be honest, I even have close friends that have slipped and fallen into this cult and I, I, I do blame the universities. I'm sure you could get into Hollywood and all that kind of crap but uh, yeah I have actually had friends so this has affected me on a personal level of uh, you know people absolutely changing. They, they're, they are not the same and uh, they kind of become to a degree like like zombies. Uh, my, my theory from what I've noticed, uh, I think the atheism play, plays a part of a role in this. Uh, I myself actually believe in God, so I think that's part of it that, uh, you know, the atheism leads to this kind of nihilism and this despair and this meaningless. So, I mean, I don't know why anybody, you know, would embrace this philosophy. I mean, all those atheists out there, they're just full of shit. They, uh, oh my God, again, stay away, stay away, that's my advice. So, okay, so I'm again getting off track here from the party. Uh, so again, I think, I, finally, I think I finally just said, oh, oh, hey, by the way, buddy, uh, you know, because I guess he's confused that, you know, oh, really, someone, you know, stood up to him and someone doesn't think like him. And, uh, you know, so, you know, he got challenged and I, and, and I calmly just said, oh, oh, you know, by the way, you know, this is my, my chick's apartment and I painted this, this picture. And I, and I can see kind of like the shock in his eyes. And so he's like suddenly, oh, oh, like people are fighting back. But, you know, I was not angry. Uh, I was very calm. And, you know, just kind of like, again, being being like a basically a smug prick to just say like, you know, because I, I feel like maybe I kind of let him on in a sense. But, you know, he kind of, you know, his head kind of shakes and he kind of, I don't know, he ran away with his tail between his legs or, or, or whatever. But, so again, I didn't pay any attention to it. Like I said, I found the whole thing, you know, <laughs> absolutely entertaining. Okay, so perhaps, you know, you know, and so I think a couple days went by. You know, I never really thought of this, uh, this anymore. I just thought, oh, this was, this was too, too, this was too good. I said, this is a story I'm going to tell people. And so uh, Glinda, my other friend, uh, who knew this guy, she had talked to him because I guess this guy maybe was popular or something. He had a lot of friends, but this story caught on like wildfire. 
uh, you know, you know, at the time of the party, there was just like just a, a, gr a small group of us. You know, everybody's talking and drinking, so people weren't paying attention. It wasn't like this was a great big scene in the party. It was basically just a couple of handfuls of people. You know, kind of were aware of it that you know they grabbed the painting, took it down, put it back up, and so that was it. But apparently, this this story went around like crazy, and this humiliated this guy. And the next morning, he was absolutely humiliated, and so Glinda said that. You know, basically, I had destroyed this guy. I had absolutely crushed him. And, you know, a true, a true Schadenfreude moment. And, and that, like, again, just was almost like the cherry, <laughs> the cherry on top. Uh, I was like, oh, that's great. And so it just got me thinking about, um, you know, art and, you know, again, like, you know, like just a painting, like, you know, just something visual. Could, could send somebody into hysterics and, uh, and, you know, really penetrate, you know, and make someone like, well, at the time he was, you know, acting quite fanatical, but that at least the next day he realized what a, you know, what a complete jackass, you know, he was, you know, so, so I, so I don't want to underestimate like, you know, the power again, of art, you know, to penetrate, you know, to, you know, like say the deeper regions of a person's, maybe the psyche, their subconscious, and, um, you know, almost, there is a power, almost a therapeutic power, you know, that could, you know, awaken someone or, you know, change their paradigm, you know, their worldview, which, which I actually believe. And, uh, and, th and this definitely, this, uh, this uh this event was was a catalyst for me to you know actually you know paint more and you know inject more subliminal and uh you know nuanced and 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 deeper and deeper themes into my art you know hopefully become even more mature with it you know really basically kind of messing messing with people uh you know on a kind of a subconscious level and i think that's really what uh you know, successful art does. And so, so going back to kind of like what I would consider, like I said, this, this brainwashing, uh, idea, I do, I don't think these people necessarily are a lost cause, uh, because, um, I've had, you know, some success just kind of convincing people of like, well, that sometimes they have some really bad ideas. And, you know, I know there's like, like the, nowadays people like shit, Oh my God! Constantly they shit on the liberals, and I'll be honest, that's fine with me. Uh, and I and they totally deserve it. You know, I'm not a liberal at all, actually. You know, the uh, their philosophy is you know quite flawed. If you, if you really look, you know, deep into it, uh, you know, it needs a lot of work. People really should rethink it. So maybe maybe I'll explain that more in another video. Maybe maybe not. I don't know. But I do see this as a positive, uh, you know, story, you know, even though someone, you know, maybe got humiliated, you know, created a scene, but, um, I, I do think that, you know, uh, it, it really didn't spoil my mood. So maybe, uh, maybe I am, well, or just tolerant, or maybe it was the booze, but uh, that's kind of my, my style. I, I don't mind, like, uh, actually, I like listening to people and hearing their reactions to my paintings because uh, I think a lot of times they're just revealing really, you know, traits about themselves. Uh, so, again, I, I like when people, you know, write me messages. I, I You know, it's nice to get, uh, oh, I like your painting, blah, blah, blah. But I, I actually like, you know, when people, you know, go a little deeper, maybe try to, you know, talk about it or their reaction to it. It's Well, it's, it's interesting to me. You know, so so feel free if you do uh, if you kind of enjoyed this little story, uh, you know, like put a comment uh, or you know tell me a, a story. I I don't mind talking to strangers at all, but again, I I do kind of like um, want to say that it's really the word is collectivism. This is the evil dark word behind all of this, and uh, this is something I think all people should study. You know, obviously you don't ever hear about this in school, this is a word you really don't hear a lot of, but uh, it's, that is, really is the culprit, and it is really, 
a, a terrible idea that was meant to be terrible. This was not meant to, you know, somehow create a, you know, a, a quality society. Uh, it, it was always meant as some kind of evil, uh, you know, just nefarious, uh, soul-crushing ideology. Uh, and, it, and, and really, when it brainwashes the young people, never mind the older people, uh, Everybody is affected by this, and Western civilization is clearly, you know, you know, teetering on, uh, you know, uh, you know, on the brink. I'll be honest; I don't mean to be an alarmist, but nowadays it's gone like absolute crazy craziness. These uh, these people won't stop. They don't know their history, so I would uh, advise people to, uh, you know, like check it out because. Uh, the world is not, there's not a golden age, as some people seem to imply. Because we're living longer, that means things are getting better. Uh, I'm really, uh, I would really, I would kind of really want to argue with someone on, on that point. <laughs> and I have. <laughs> so, okay, but that's, that's more or less, I'm now I'm rambling. So, okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little story. And maybe I will tell some more. I actually have a lot of art stories. I have a lot of gallery stories. Uh, I've been kind of in the community for a long, long time. And again, I'm on Instagram, all under Getaway Toys, uh, Twitter, Facebook. Send me a message if you're interested in buying any art. I mostly just do the toys now. A sculpture I find is a lot more satisfying than the painting, but I do still have some paintings and yeah, I'll occasionally paint. Uh, so that's it. Tell your friends, retweet, cut and paste, share, uh, hashtag tits and guns.